Yeah, it's Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. On the channel today, we're heading back to the Batman universe of 1989 to check out this special canopy and gun set from Ramen Toy, which serves as an add-on kit to the 7-inch scale 1989 Batmobile released last year by McFarlane Toys as a tie-in to the Flash live-action movie. Now, this was one of the most anticipated vehicle releases at commercial retail last year at just 60 US dollars. Fans could not believe they were getting such a mega-sized toy Batmobile for that irresistible price. But joy turned to shock and confusion for some when it finally arrived and for some strange, inexplainable reason, the cockpit canopy was painted a shade of dull green. Now, to be honest, I'm not that put off by it personally, but I have to say, there's no reason for it to be that color. Okay, none at all. Now, to this day, one year later, in fact, there's been no explanation for this thing. Maybe it was a production error and they just thought no one would care too much, especially at that low price point. Maybe they wanted their own unique stamp on it, something that made it distinctively McFarlane. I don't know. I thought the movie would offer some answers as to why the canopy was green. But you guys saw the film, right? I mean, the Batmobile was just parked there in the Batcave for the Flash to use as a bed to sleep in. And don't worry about the toy not having the guns pop out because the Batmobile was never even used. Now, McFarlane Toys did release another version a few months later that was recolored and rebranded as the 1989 movie Batmobile. That one sold out really fast. It came in matte black to match the movie colors and it did not have this strange light green canopy either. So to address all the issues with the McFarlane Batmobile, Raymond Toy have released this special add-on kit that comes in a nice smooth designer box simply titled CAG set don't expect to see a bat symbol though on the packaging okay <laughs> now when you open up the box you get all of the items stored inside within plastic bags you have the canopy right here the main centerpiece of this entire set we're going to check out the installation for this thing in just a bit you get a set of twin machine guns these are great these will get your batmobile combat ready lastly there was a special request for gas caps to be included, Ramatoy included this set as a bonus. You get the gas caps to enhance the decor of, of your Batmobile. For some reason, McFarlane did not think to include these from the get-go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is swap out the canopy. The canopy, as you know, has a spring-loaded feature. Pressing on the button in front causes it to pop up and then you can slide it forward to reveal your Batman figure inside. You know, the one that looks nothing like Michael Keaton. The canopy can also be lifted upwards like so, but to remove it, you can't just pull it out, okay? No, this thing is sealed in, so to take it out, you'll have to flip the vehicle over and take out all of the screws on the underside. Now, there's 11 screws in total, and you'll have to get them all out. Now, some of you might be thinking, Ken, did you just say that I have to get a screwdriver and unscrew this whole base myself? Yes, yes you do. You'll have to MacGyver this thing on your own. But don't worry guys, everything's going to be just fine. Alright, you can get this thing out easy. And once you're done, just lay them out side by side. Alright, take photos definitely. You know, when you're dismantling something, take a lot of photos so you remember where everything went. Next, we're looking at the underside of the driver's seat. This whole section needs to be removed as well. Now, there are three screws here that are holding everything together. You'll have to get them all out and then get this whole section removed. Keep taking photos throughout the entire process. Once you lift off this section, you actually see the spring that enables the cockpit cover to pop up. Just take it out and keep it someplace safe first, okay? As this thing is not screwed in and will likely fall out and go missing while you're handling everything. Okay, now that that's done, you are able to just very easily remove the canopy. You see that? There you go. The source of all of the conflict, okay? <laughs> removed at last. Now, here's a close-up of your brand new canopy. As you can see, it comes in glossy black paint to match the vehicle body tone, and it sure does look shiny. You might feel an overwhelming sense of excitement to just get this thing locked onto the cockpit as soon as possible. Yeah, 
just slide it in there make sure all of the sides are properly aligned with the edges of the cockpit and there you have it guys your brand new canopy cover guys you know what i think the results speak for themselves mcfarlane's batmobile is finally looking like a fully rocking 1989 superstar now i think the execution of the replacement canopy just looks fantastic this is definitely the version that you want for your display here's a comparison with the original green canopy i mean it's ridiculous how much of a difference there is and it's not just a simple repaint the entire front section of the canopy has now been redesigned as well it now angles forward at a much sharper descent and this also gives us a far more narrow windscreen you know i never realized just how gigantic and cartoonish the windscreen on the first version looked like <laughs> okay now it's time to check out the canopy operation to see if everything works smoothly so press the button get the canopy popping up okay push it back down and then pop it again all right you know what let's just keep it popping guys <laughs> let's keep it going but as you can see you know this whole function works well there's no defects whatsoever now let's also pop the canopy and then slide it forward all right see how it moves along smooth and then you slide it back slide it forward again and then back just keep repeating the process you can see all the new parts and attachments operating well now let's also have it flipped up to the top you see that nothing seems loose or in danger of breaking everything's great okay now let's get batman in there all right let's get him comfortably seated yeah slide the canopy over him you see how he fits in there really snug lock it down and then pop it open again all right slide it out again okay and this will give you an idea of how the new canopy can basically accommodate every play pattern or scenario you know with or without the figure in it everything is working really well with this newly redesigned canopy from Raymond toy okay now it's time to address one of the issues that has cropped up regarding this replacement canopy and gun set from Raymond toy my review here today on youtube is the first to cover the replacement glossy canopy that came with the flash movie 1989 batmobile the first edition version that was released prior to this there was a review done on the geek that life channel which covered the second edition batmobile that mcfarlane put out now this one was the one with the matte colors all right and in that review it was highlighted that there is a tiny gap present when the canopy cover is closed down it's at the front section here on both sides you can see it when the batmobile is held up to eye level it's a very tiny gap to me personally this is not a big issue i think that the whole set works and aligns itself very well to the batmobile however Raman toy have addressed this issue in their live stream and hence they've decided to go back and retool the entire batch of produced sets okay so that's why there's a delay in the delivery for these units i believe that these units were supposed to go out like maybe last month they are now scheduled to go out possibly at the end of april or maybe even early next month in may the reason for that like i said is because they've gone back to retool everything from scratch and this was done to ensure that these units go out at the highest possible quality standards to the consumer so like i said i mean they didn't really have to do that but i think that the fact that they're doing it shows their continued dedication to quality and that they're listening to consumer feedback and acting on it so this version here that you're seeing in this video is a sample it will not be the one that's released eventually all pre-orders will be receiving a brand new set that will have no gaps visible whatsoever but to me personally i'm happy with this set man okay and as i've shown you in the video this whole set functions smoothly the replacement looks awesome it enhances your 1989 mcfarlane batmobile and ends up giving us a far better looking version that none of us thought was possible before this okay now it's time to check out the guns all right this set comes with a pair of guns that are meant to be attached to the front of the batmobile because this thing is supposed to have guns but it didn't because of whatever safety reasons or whatever new direction that the company had to comply with not having weapons on kids toys stuff like that this is still supposed to be a kids toy even though i'm not actually sure if there's any parents out there who actually purchased this thing for their kids now the guns are very nicely detailed i like the fact that they have these bullets that are separately sculpted on the sides here very nice stuff 
they all come on these platforms right these platforms are supposed to just be attached onto the batmobile as you can see on the underside of the platform here you have these slots here these slots are meant to be aligned and attached to the corresponding slots on the batmobile vehicle itself all you have to do is just plug them on there all right and they stay on just get them plugged there and you have these weapons okay ready to be deployed on your batmobile you have your batmobile now ready for action ready to take on the joker in his stronghold of axis chemicals <laughs> lastly the set also comes with a pair of these silver gas caps most versions of the toy batmobiles out there have the gas caps on them for some reason this one doesn't but now ramato has given us the opportunity to have these installed through stickers all you have to do is just peel off the layers underneath here and just stick them onto your vehicle now do you have to do this well not really but does it make the vehicle look better with the gas caps on hell yes okay look at this thing man the vehicle looks so much better it's got so much more definition to it now as i understand it these canopy and gun sets have been doing some tremendous business on pre-orders the public definitely wants these things to enhance their vehicle if you want a set if you like what you see in this video and you feel that you need a set for your own batmobile purchase it directly from the ramen toy website this thing is available at a very very encouraging price tag of $19.89 hell even that price tag of $19.89 that's an easter egg right there I would like to thank Ramen Toy for sending over this set for me to review on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section below. Share this video out there. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Take care out there.